Brethren, this morning I want to join us, I want to encourage us to refuse to walk in natural realm, to operate in the natural realm. Develop your spirit, develop your spirit, and the spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him. The spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of counsel and might, the spirit of knowledge and of the fear of the Lord. And if the believer chooses to cooperate with the Holy Spirit, regeneration has happened next will be sanctification and then glorification he resides in you he is not something he is a person he speaks to you on a daily basis in acts of apostles chapter 10 verse 38 you see how god anointed jesus christ with the holy ghost and with power who went about doing good and healing all that were oppressed uh, of, 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 of the devils haven't you heard someone says to you that something tells me even people testifying to the goodness of the lord in church you say something tells me to do this it is not something he is not something he is the spirit of the living god as the name of the holy spirit implies he is holy and we need to walk in purity we need to walk in holiness and jesus did not sin for once he consistently yielded to the dictates of the spirit and the more you get closer to him, the more he begins to show you things. The more he begins to expand your knowledge. Receiving the Holy Spirit makes us free in word. But submitting to him makes you free indeed. So he is there to show you things to come. He is there to give you wisdom. He is there to give you understanding, counsel and mind. If you continue to be filled with the Spirit, your life will be filled with unending supernatural of his miraculous. The power of God and the Holy Spirit are the same. So a few questions for you. Does the Holy Spirit really dwell in you? Have you submitted to him?